Nestled by the scenic city of Cork is your number one holiday destination, Spike Island Prison. Where else can you enjoy exclusive, all-inclusive accommodation behind bars, gourmet meals served in a tray, and that unique locked-in experience 24-7? dive into thrilling activities like the Shackle Shuffle and Dungeon Dash. Our highly attentive wardens ensure you'll never wander alone, and with Father Lyons as your spiritual guide, you'll find eternal peace. Really, with all this luxury, why would anyone want to escape? Welcome to Preview of Fled! Hello and welcome to Weekly Game Night Channel. Have you ever dreamt of escaping the prison? Hmm, maybe that's not everyone's cup of tea? Anyways, Mark Swanson is back with his newest game called Flat, and I'm here to tell you all you need to know about the newest release from Odd Bird Games. Stay with me as I have some exciting news to share. First things first, Flat is hitting Kickstarter on March the 5th and you can find the link to the campaign in this video's description. Flat sends players straight to 19th century Irish prison on Spike Island during the infamous potato famine. Not a place or time to spend the holidays of your dreams, if you ask me, so here we are planning our private jailbreak. I'm here to walk you through the gameplay essentials and share my take on the game after giving it a whirl. Before we dive in, a little favor from your pal at Weekly Game Night. While care packages are always welcome, just not the plum cake. I hate plums. Hitting that thumbs up and subscribing would mean the world to me. Thank you very much. And now for the gameplay basics. Flat is a competitive tile placement and hand management abstract game for 2-4 to four players with some nice touch of prison escape team and game mechanics shown via in-game graphics. The whole game comes with all the game elements stored neatly in an elegant insert. In flat, you and your mates are the unluckiest of lads, tossed into the clink with nothing but a burning desire for freedom. Your mission? Scrunch up a bit of contraband here, a few escape tools there, and make a mad dash for the woods before anyone's the wiser. But it's not all shamrocks and shenanigans, those pesky wardens are on the prowl, eager to slap on the shackles or chuck you into solitary. In the grim walls of the jail, there is a glimmer of hope and his name is Father Leons, known as the last beacon of kindness on this Irish rock. You will start the game by placing the starting tile and player banks in the center of the game board and deal each player 5 tiles. And now we need to zoom out a bit as we need some space to build us a prison. Yeah, in order to escape it, you'll have to build the prison by placing the tiles. Six squares away from the starting tile is where you can place the one with woods. It's your ticket for freedom. Ok, so how do you play the game? Players play one by one and perform three actions until they run out of tiles or one of them escapes the prison. First, play prison tile following these simple rules. At least one half of the tiles room has to match the adjacent one. Doors can connect with doors, windows with windows and hallways can connect with just about everything. These tiles are the Swiss Army Knives of Flat. Not only do they lay the foundation of your not so cozy prison, but they are also your ticket to sweet, sweet freedom as you can discard them for a variety of actions or play them to your inventory. You can play blue contraband tiles and swap them later on for the purple tools. So much needed for escaping. Green shamrocks are wild. Golden tools grant you double action and if you happen to place a tile with a warden symbol, you will spawn a warden and you will place the warden's meeple on that tile. Next, you will play two tiles from your hand to perform different actions. Move yourself by discarding tiles with keys, shoes or spoons if you want to teleport yourself to another tile with a hole up to 3 spaces away. Alternatively, you can discard a tile with a whistle to move Warden if you want to catch the other players in a no-no tile and slap some shackles on them. Whistle position on the roll call tiles shows where is it safe to be when the Warden shows up. You can also add a contraband tile to your inventory, but only if you are in a room allowed by the position of the whistle on the roll call tile track and you have a contraband with either of two symbols shown in your hand. 
Finally, you can exchange the contraband for any tool in your hand if you are in the warden's office or visit Father Leon's who can take off these nasty shackles too. You can also add a tile to the warden's inventory to draw it later. Finally, it's time to replenish your hand and wait distressed to see if the warden's going to nab you while the others take their turn. It's a game of cat and mouse and you are just hoping not to be the mouse caught in the open. You will trigger the end of the game when you run out of tiles, boring, or when one of the player escapes the prison by reaching the tile with woods and spending proper tools from their inventory. Run Johnny, run! Once the game is over you will count up your points, escaping backs you a hefty 5 points, then dive into your inventory. Green shamrocks are worth 3 points, purple tools 2 and contraband 1, also at minus 1 for the shackles if Father Lyons was nowhere to be found. In flat, the moral victor might be the one who's dashed past the gates to freedom, but the crown of victory truly rests on the head of the player who's rack up the most points. Escaping is one thing, but doing it with style, that's winning. I'm glad you made it. Now that you are free, let me tell you a little bit about Flat after playing the game. Flat masterfully demonstrates that a great game doesn't need an avalanche of components to be truly enjoyable. It's a shining example of elegance in game design proving that less can indeed be more. With just 70 polyomino um, pieces and 8 meeples snugly fitting in the box, Mark Swanson has crafted an experience that's both straightforward and deeply satisfying. What I really like about Flat is the way all the game mechanics seamlessly blend into the game pieces themselves, a hallmark of Oddbird Games' approach to design, much like their earlier hit, Fudium, it's ingenious how every necessary detail is integrated directly onto the tiles, becoming the natural part of the game's visuals. So when you move, you will look for those doors or holes on prison tiles, and all the basic mechanics are shown on tiles in the player tableaus. Really, apart from rulebook, when you know the game, it will kind of guide you on its own. Maybe these tiles could be a little bit bigger, so the older folks like me could spot some elements more easily, but still, I love the idea and approach here. And, I mean, we get the whistle. Speaking of tiles, in general, I like how you can use different elements in different ways, and here in flat, um, you can use these versatile tiles to create the prison, of course, move meeples around, you can place this in your tableau, and they even score you some points in the end of the game. That's a really neat idea from Oddbird, and that takes us to replayability, as every single time you will play the game, it's gonna be different. Some of the tiles with wardens, locations, or even Father Lions himself, won't even be used as you can store them in your inventory. Each time the prison will be different too, so there won't be two games the same. This ensures that every escape attempt in Flat is a fresh adventure, keeping the game fun and engaging. Flat is one of those games with some good vibe to it. Playing it simply brings smile to my face and it might have something to do with negative interaction factor as you will be sending Warden to shackle other players. It's not about causing major setbacks, but rather it's the perfect amount of playful rivalry. Just enough to nudge each other, share a laugh and keep the game spirited and lively. Or maybe it's about the prison escape theme, um, shown in a light way. You know, you may move around, find a contraband, exchange that for tools, throw or get thrown into the solitary confinement. I mean, I don't know exactly, but I have a really good feelings about it. And in my opinion, that game is just for about everyone. The straightforward gameplay and tile placement are accessible enough for anyone to jump in and start plotting their escape. Yet it doesn't skimp on the clever mechanics that can keep seasoned players engaged and challenged. One aspect of Flat that could see some improvement is the occasional turn where your actions feel limited, but with so many turns in the game, it fades into the otherwise action-packed gameplay due to really low downtime. All in all, I had a great fun playing Flat and I'm up to play it on my next game night, especially that 
45 to 60 minutes per game promised on the box is just about as much time as you need to play it. Wrapping up, Flat offers a refreshing dive into the prison escape genre with its blend of simplicity and depth. The game's elegance lies in its minimalistic design using just a handful of tiles and meeples to craft an experience that's both engaging and replayable. Oddbeard Games has again shown their knack for integrating game mechanics seamlessly into the game pieces, making Flat intuitive and visually appealing. It's the definition of big things coming in small packages. It's not just a game, it's an experience that brings joy, a bit of competitive spirit and laughter, especially with the light-hearted take on the escape theme. For those who appreciate a game that blends strategic depth with approachable gameplay, Flat hits all the right notes. Interested? Dive into the Kickstarter campaign, you will find all the details and the link in the description of this video. It looks like Mark Swanson and Oddbird Games are on a roll, crafting unique games that all seem to start with the letter F. And I'm here for it, eagerly waiting to see what they come up with next. Thanks for tuning in guys, and that's a wrap for today. Bye bye!